Rihanna, treat her to the Zana. Take her out to Neiman, Dolce and Gabbana. Bands on me, Nirvana. We ain't having no problem. Take her out to Neiman, running through them commas. Yeah, she throw that bag on the shelf and get bone. I let her get it, don't care about the cost. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Tricity. We back at it again. All right, so today, I'm going to show you how to turn Pro Tools into UAD Luna. Um, but if you don't have Pro Tools, you can use this same concept for any DAW that you're in. All right? So, the first thing is first, to use this, you will need UAD plugins. You don't have to have an Apollo, but you do have to have native UAD plugins or UAD Spark. So, to start it off, um, oh yeah, also you need Sonomous A console because there isn't another API summon plugin that's native for from UAD with size and Luna. So the A console by Sonomous um is a good substitute. So as you can see here, we have a beat track, we have this UAD console right here, and we have the record lead lips, and then we have the vocal bus reverb delay in a master now when you're using luna the process goes tape console bus compressor so as you can see here on all my audio tracks that is the chain right so you have your struder tape and you can like right now it's on a stock setting so you can come in here and edit it as you see fit then we have the API Vision channel strip. Again, I'm not doing anything on these yet. And then you have the API 2500, so. All right, so all your audio tracks will look like that. Now, on this beat track, I also have tape, API Vision, and the API 2500, however, I have the tape and the bus compressor turned off because likely this beat has already been mastered. So um, if you can find a good setting to dial in to run the beat through the tape on the actual track, that's good for you. But I have it turned off. But I do have this API Vision channel strip on. And what I did was come here to 1.5K, turn it down 2 dB, just so the vocals can sit in a little bit, bit better. And I turned the knob down, maybe like um, somewhere between two to five dB, just so I have some headroom. All right. But that's it for that. Here on this UAD console, this is a, um, a print track or um, a mono aux. So on here, you have the UAD channel strip. So I'm getting a little bit of sound from this UAD. Uh, vision channel strip as you see i had the preamp on i turned the pad on because my particular mic was loud um so i have this pad turned on and now i have it on about 30 right here so the the level is where i want it to be so my level is like about negative between negative 11 and negative 8 so that's kind of good for recording um here i have the noise gate turned on and I'm not touching the compressor here or messing with the EQ, all right? From there, I have Crispy Tuner, but you can use Waves Tune, Auto Tune, whatever you want to use. And then we have the Struder Tape. So here's my settings. This is what worked for me. You may have to adjust it to you. Now, it's very important on this UAD console track, whatever you put here is going to get printed onto your vocals. If you're not comfortable with printing the effects, you don't have to put this here. You can move these to the record track right here, all right? But you want to make sure your microphone is set up here if you want to give yourself the ability to print like you are using a UAD console, all right? Okay, so next, when I come here to my vocal bus, the first plug-in here is the Sonomous A console. So this is mimicking a API 1608 mixing console. So Essentially, this is like doing analog summing in a box. Not saying that it sounds the same or it replaces it, but this is what it is. So um, this is the 
plugin I found to best emulate that process for me. And it's only $29 right now. Okay. And from there, again, just like everything else, we, we go through tape. So here's my settings for my vocal bus. We go through tape. Then the API Vision channel strip. Uh, I turned the line input up a little bit. I didn't really want to mess with this mic because I'm already recording through the mic um, preamp. So I turned the line um, saturation up a little bit. Then I rolled off about 50 dB. And uh, using this gate a little bit. And I'm not really doing any compression down here. All right. And then for the EQ, I got 20K boosted at 6 dB. And I have 10K boosted at 2. And then I'm taking out 2, no, 4 dB at 200 just to get rid of a little bit of that muddy boxy tone. All right. That's it for that. And then here we have the API 2500. This um, is only going to be doing somewhere between 3 and 5 dB of gain reduction. So I don't want it to do too much. So it's just, it's just touching it a little bit just to keep everything like kind of smooth. All right. And then down here, we have an EQ. And I just kind of cut out some frequencies that I didn't like in my voice, but it may be different for you. All right, and that's kind of it for that. And then it's the same process for reverb and delay. A console, some tape, a vision channel strip, and then API 2500. Same thing for the reverb and the delay. That I'm not even messing with those plugins. The reverb is just the stock D-verb, and then mod delay three. Uh, and then this is a quarter delay. All right. And then we have the master track. So on the master, I have the A console. This is grouped. So your um, effects and your vocals are already grouped on here. And I have it set um, as drive. So when you pull these knobs up, it's just adding saturation and not volume. So you're just driving distortion. Um, yeah. All right. And... After that, we have the oxide tape recorder. So again, so we're running all of the sound is going through tape, the API console, and the bus compressor, everything. So you're saturating at every stage. All right. And then under there, we have the API um, channel strip. Now, here, I'm not doing anything on here at all. Not doing anything. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of here. And then I have the bus compressor. I have it bypassed because you don't want to start compressing while you're recording because it could mess with the vibe. But yeah, now let's see how it sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all fire. Yeah, yeah. To the designers, take her out the name, go to her in Cabana, turn on her mama. Yeah, Rihanna, treat her to the designers, take her out the name, go to her in Cabana, dance on me, Nirvana, we ain't having no problem. Take her out the name, running through them commas. Yeah, she throw that bag on the shelf 
to get bone. Yeah. yeah, she throw that bag on that shelf and get bone. Honey's on, honey's on breaking the bone. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment, subscribe. subscribe. Tell a friend. 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 I'm out. Oh, by the way, I used a $29 microphone on this video.